Hey MTV Cribs, welcome to my home. Actually, just kidding. This is my really messy desk that is not very fun to look at. So for today's video, I thought we would cheer up this lovely workspace and turn it into the creative haven that it actually is for me. Don't get me wrong, it seems like I'm like hating on my workspace. I actually really love my desk and I do a lot of work here and I just wanted to update it to fit where I'm at right now. I still do a lot of work on the computer here with like editing and designing stuff, uh, but I also do a lot of creative work here. So we're probably gonna keep a lot of elements here still and just do a minor refresh. So let's get started. So my current desk setup is not bad. It looks really messy and not in like a cute aesthetic, like, wow, lots of stationery in one place kind of way, but just like full on messy. As you can see on the right hand side of my desk, there's just a bunch of stuff like dirty paint water. I mean, I really like that jar since I am in not engraved it. I did an etched glass project on it, but it's not that cute. Uh, there's just stacks and stacks of washi samples and... I mean, I think I have a good storage solution. I feel like in a way I know where everything is, but in a way it's not very pretty. <laughs> it's not very aesthetic and it gets the job done. Like I, I actually think this is a pretty functional space, but it's just not great to look at. And honestly, my stamp storage, as you can see, is a total mess. It's just a wooden box with things stacked on there. On the left hand side of my desk, I have all my journals and all of my like sticker storage that I have there and it works. Uh, it's just stacked a lot. And then I have my journaling tote, which I use quite a bit. I use this to tote around uh, my home if I want to journal elsewhere. And then I have this giant bag of notes and freebies and um, gifts from friends from the SF Pencho that I can't part with. And it just sits on my desk. And then I just have, you know, other miscellaneous items like um, this deck from Lisa Congdon. I think that's how you pronounce her name. Sorry. And then my typodarium calendar. Yeah, it's just a little bit of a mess. And then my pegboard. I love it. I hanged it up. These are from Ikea. And it actually looked kind of cute at the beginning, but right now it's just a mess and it's not very cute looking. There's like seven different calendars on it. Uh, well, actually just three. Uh, but yeah, I feel like I ended up using, you know, a lot of the things that I had, like all the accessories for this thing. And it just doesn't look good, but I also want it to be functional. So right now it is pretty functional. There's a lot of tools that I use on the daily and it's been, yeah, very helpful, but I feel like I can make this look nicer and also still be as useful uh, as it is right now. Because right now it looks like, well, it looks like crap, <laughs> especially with the tissue box hanging on like the paper towel roll holder uh, for this pegboard. So yeah, not a big fan of it, but we have a lot to work with. Why don't we start cleaning up? Sometimes I want to pack up Turn me into 
Ooh, sick cleaning montage, Job. We haven't shown them the cleaning montage for the pegboard, but honestly, I think they've had enough of the montage. So maybe a little bit of a haul. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do a little bit of a haul and then maybe we can do another montage, Job. Okay, let's haul this stuff. So I went to Muji and bought these stackable storage bins. I actually have these already, but I wanted a few more so I can stack them more. And then these pencil holders, I guess they're kind of like a vertical version of the ones that I have, but I feel like they take up less desk real estate and they come in, you know, fun autumnal colors. So I thought I would grab those. And then this is the big ticket item. I've been wanting this for the longest time. This is a Muji acrylic drawer or case. And this is the five, uh, like five level one. And this was a little bit pricey. I think it was about 50 Canadian dollars, uh, but I really wanted to up my storage game. And I thought this would be the perfect storage for some stamps. <laughs>
think the approach that I wanted to go for this pegboard was just a simple and usable pegboard. I had way too much stuff on it last time. And so this time I just wanted the essentials, some of the things that I use all the time and a few decorative pieces. So I decided to put some postcards, um, some awesome supplies that I like, some aesthetic looking supplies, like some brass scissors. I also put some electronics that I use quite a bit. And I also have a paper towel roll, which doesn't look that great, but I feel like it's so handy. I actually had paper towel um, on this pegboard before, but I just took it off for a bit because I thought it didn't look good enough. And I put a tissue box there, which didn't make it look any better, but I feel like this is a good compromise because it's still so handy and it's nice to have this like at a working like journaling space that gets messy and so i really really enjoyed having that here but obviously i still want to add some fun cute stuff i put a snorlax which is cut off and a few keychains that i like and i really really like how it turned out this portion of the video is sponsored by Devoom, which is crazy to say because I don't think we've ever had a sponsor before. But anyways, Devoom sent this D2 Plus Bluetooth speaker, which also features this lovely LED display that can display some awesome retro pixel art. And you can also play games on this and also music. And it also has an alarm clock feature. It has so many awesome features, but my favorite part about this is the lovely retro aesthetic to it. It just reminds me of like old, Nintendo NES uh, game systems and I love that I can use this as a speaker but also display some awesome art so if you are uh, downloading the app through the Devoom website you can find that there's many different users that have created their own pixel art and you can choose from a wide variety of user created designs and you can also create your own so I am so excited because I'm going to be using this as a final touch to my desk setup because I Actually, I don't have a clock in my room, which is maybe a reason why I'm always late to everything, but I can't wait to use the clock function. And this also functions as a smart alarm. So you can actually use the app and set multiple alarms on it. And you can also use it to play some games. So I am gonna be using this for many different reasons, but I'm so excited to have this awesome, cute, aesthetic display on my desk to help me tell time and to also uh, put some fun cute like designs on it i already found one of an egg which is very on brand for me and i can't wait to have this little desk buddy near me at all times please check the description bar for check the description bar come on job this is your first sponsorship check the description bar for more information about devoom okay back to the rest of the video Wow, proud of you, Past Job, for that wonderful ad read. Anyways, we are on the final stretch of this desk update, and the biggest problem that I was facing is that now that I've cleaned off a bunch of stuff off my desk, where will I put the rest of my crap? So I decided to purchase this very affordable rack. I was racking my brain, uh, since this is a rack, uh, to find a way to extend my storage on my desk and this um, under desk rack was the solution. Honestly, I wanted a Rascog cart from Ikea, but it didn't fit under my desk. And so I went with a more, uh, I guess, suitable option, even though it's not my favorite in terms of how it looks. It's a little bit busy in terms of the design on the side. And I kind of wish I spray painted the black plastic parts of this uh, rack so it was a little bit more cute, like maybe like a nice beige or maybe like a bright yellow um, or like a, a chartreuse but uh, the black is fine and honestly I can always repaint it because this is very easily um, disassemblable and I can just uh, update it if I want to refresh my desk in the future but this is such a lifesaver because I have been able to store all of my stuff that had no space on my desk and I even have a space for like my audio uh, video equipment and it is such a a lifesaver i love this little cart it's been two weeks now since i filmed this and assembled this and i have been loving it so much 
Ta-da! This is the updated desk tour. As you can see, it still looks the same, kind of, but I think it's a lot cleaner, a lot more organized. It's still quite busy in terms of how much is on my desk, but it feels manageable and I like how I know where everything is and that everything is still pretty visual i'm one of those people that needs to be able to see where my stuff is or i forget that it exists object permanence is not a thing on my stationary desk and so i wanted to juggle the idea that you know you can have your stuff on display but also have it in a nice and neat manner and i think we did an all right job at it Honestly, the pegboard was something that was very important to me. I wanted it to still be quite full and quite visual and to still have the tools that I use on the daily, but I just wanted to reduce the amount of things that I had on there. I think I was just using all of the different tools and all the different little accessories that I have for this pegboard that I was getting distracted by the sheer amount of things on it. And so we have the essential stuff that I use quite a bit and I also didn't want to stray away from the fact that I you know do use this desk for you know uh, audio and visual stuff like um, video editing photographing things and you know other side hustle slash design stuff and so I wanted to have my essentials um, near me and so I have um, that on display on my desk too I just didn't want everything to just be focused on my analog tools because I do use a lot of digital tools as well uh, but I really enjoyed setting this up. My actual desk still has uh, quite a bit of journals on it, but I just love this IKEA little pedestal that I have. It's a newer thing from their line and I can't wait to uh, use it to showcase my journals. I also love that I kind of updated my desk on a budget. I did buy a Muji acrylic case, which was the biggest ticket item that I purchased. It was about 50 Canadian dollars. Um, but other than that, I just purchased um, smaller bins um, that range from $2 and then maybe $2 to $4. And then I bought my rolling rack, which is about 16 Canadian dollars. So it was a little bit of a desk refresh and update on a budget but i'm glad that i transformed my space a lot it might not look like it's a lot different for you on screen but for me just sitting at my desk it feels like a brand new space and i'm loving um i'm loving it so much i love journaling here and feeling at home and getting cozy here um, so if you have any questions about anything that I have showed in this video, please let me know in the description bar, in the description bar, in the bottom, uh, the comment section. And um, as always, thank you, Devoom, for the first sponsorship on this channel. It really means a lot to me. Um, it helps uh, continue this creative hobby of mine and helps fund it. So thank you, Devoom, for um, that little sponsorship. And again, if you have any questions, about the Devoom speaker let me know in the comments below um, I will see you in the next video again thank you everyone for all your support and love and if you'd like to check out more Job's Journal content be sure to check out the Job's Journal Patreon where there is exclusive Patreon videos podcast episodes posts and journaling zooms I will see you in the next time friends stay safe and I will see you in the next one bye bye